Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Not Week Day 3. I'm here with the lovely and beautiful Hayes, and we're here to break down the best bang for your buck when it comes to tickets at not scary farm 2024 if you guys tuned into the channel the last two days day one was the game plan provided by the howling hour his first time ever recording a game plan video so big applause and, and shout out to him for doing that um uh, like I said in yesterday's video, probably the only one uh, actually prepared for Knott's Week out of the entire Knights of Horror crew. Hayes and I were very busy over the weekend at, at Halloween Horror Nights getting all that content for you guys, which is now available on our channel. So go check all that out with two vlogs, all of our walkthroughs, and the scare zones as well. Uh, and yeah, so I was busy all day Sunday editing that. Hayes was uh, drawing up and mocking up some tattoo ideas for us, and we actually got a couple tattoos done on Sunday. So uh, just kind of ran out of time. Uh, day went by quick. Prepared though. He, she did come prepared. Okay, so I got the tickets right here loaded up on my phone. Uh, so I'm going to be referring to that. Uh, she's got obviously her notes down as well. Um, so we're gonna be bouncing back and forth and I'll start us I'll start us off here with the first very first ticket which is your standard general admission ticket uh, this is for one single night admission to not scary farm and if you buy online you can save up to fifty dollars uh, from uh, from just buying online and compared to buying at the front gate so that's that is um, a very uh, really good savings so we highly suggest if you're gonna when you're going to not scary farm this year buy your tickets online you'll save a ton more money on top of that if you are an annual pass holder to knott's berry farm you do get a discount uh, on tickets so take advantage of that uh that discount for your for your pass hold if you're a pass holder because uh that will come in clutch and discounts are always a good thing for theme parks uh all right babe talk about the emission and meal bundle so with the admission and meal bundle, it's going to run you $75 or you're going to get one entree, one side and a regular fountain drink. Interesting. On top of that, you get, of course, a single night admission to Knott's Scary Farm, which I believe is just a general admission ticket. It is a general admission, yes. Yes. So yeah, that that's gonna go. That's gonna start you at seventy four ninety nine, depending on the night you go. Probably go up even more and more. So definitely get your tickets early so you can get the cheapest prices uh, and, and enjoy it. So you got the next one right here, which is nightly all inclusive, one hundred and ninety nine ninety nine. It starts at around two hundred dollars, and that is uh, available online only that you can buy. So you get a single night admission to Not Scary Farm. You get a select entree and side from the list of scary good menu options, plus a regular size fountain drink, Fright and Fast Lane, and you get general vehicle parking. So all that included with the nightly all-inclusive ticket. I think that's a, a, if you're going one time, you're coming from out of town, this is probably the best bang for your buck. I personally think though that not scary farm you you can do that entire event on a general admission ticket no problem but if you want to go through i mean fright and fast lane it's unlimited that's the fun part about uh not scary farms uh like front of the line experience is it's all unlimited so if there is mazes you want to go through multiple nights after you've hit everything especially the two new ones widow and um Eight fingers nine you can do that uh so take advantage of that unlimited uh fright and fast lane because that is a clutch all right babe talk to us about the 2024 scary farm pass well um i, I rounded up to 160. um i'm not sure if that includes tax or not but yeah season pass yeah. for 160. that's i think super reasonable you know we both picked up ours so yeah if you want to go I, I super suggest it i mean three nights and you've already paid for it yeah three nights you already paid for it you get um obviously the season pass you get uh which we hope is going to be making another return this year last year they brought back the actual cards with the 50th anniversary logo on it hope we get a return of that this year as well but you get admission to every single night of not scary farm uh from uh the, the day it opens to the day it closes all the admission nights um 
every single night, uh, Thursday through Sunday in September, Wednesday through Sunday in October. And then the two, I think there's like one or two days for the last two days in November. So every single admission night, if you are a diehard, not scary farm fan, this is the pass you need to get right here. Like Hayes said, we already got ours. Sammy got his, Rob even got his for the first time ever this year. So the Knights of Horror crew already has their annual passes because we do enjoy going back to Knott's multiple nights. We know a lot of people that work and scare at Knott's. So we like to go support them, like to go support um, just everything about the event we have a lot of fun we just chill in the scare zones we'll go through a few mazes and then uh all that fun stuff but uh yeah best bang for your buck right here i would have to say would be this not scary farm pass if you are a local and you uh, plan on coming to the event multiple nights this is the best bang for your buck right here all right uh also another thing returning uh, the Scary Farm Buffet. Now, this is a uh, Dine with the Monsters, and it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Uh, we've done it a handful of times already, and um, we have a great time. The food is delicious. Uh, very good selection of food and desserts as well. Uh, on top of that, you get a 2024 souvenir bottle, a photo with a monster, and early access to four mazes. And then... That, I think, this year is the probably best uh, thing you can do at, for an add-on for your ticket, especially if you're on a general admission, um, to get access because the new mazes are actually going to be part of the four that you get access to before the event starts, which are backstage. So you'll get access to Waxworks, Widow, Bloodline 1842, and Eight Fingers Nine, the Boogeyman. So I think this year... I wouldn't be surprised if you see this ticket sell out quick because people want to get back there and probably do those mazes, two mazes, early as possible and maybe multiple times before the crowds get back there for them. So take advantage of that buffet if you really want to see those mazes. And obviously when you buy it, you got to select the time. So select the time that's reasonable. That way you can enjoy your food, uh, enjoy the interactions with the monsters, have a little bit of dessert, and then get ready to go in the back four mazes. I think they open about an hour before the park actually opens for Not Scary Farm, so definitely take advantage of that. All right, babe, Fright and Fast Lane. I just want to say that that's also like for stack lineup for early yeah. entry. Yeah, it really yeah. is. I think we should try and do that at least once. We'll do it. I'm down. You don't got to tell me twice about Buffet. Anyway, so Fright and Fast is going to run you 150, and like you kind of sort of already touched on, it's unlimited, so you just, you get in the Fright and Fast lane instead of our, our regular GA wait. <laughs> Usually those lines are way shorter, like one third of the line, or like half, you know, so wait times are significantly shorter. You can just enjoy your night. <laughs> yeah. And I believe it also, the rides that are open. Yes, so you get Fright and Fast Lane not only for the mazes that are going to be at Not Scary Farm, but whatever uh, rides are open, usually it's like Hang Time. I'm hoping Accelerator this year. I'm not too sure about that just yet, but like Hang Time, Ghost Rider, um, Silver Bullet, you know, Pony Express. Some of the favorites, you know, that are open um, are open. So uh, definitely if you're going to get if you're coming that one time and you get the Fright and Fast Lane, I know Rob did this as a tradition for many years. He would do Buffet, Fright and Fast Lane, um, and he could tell you himself that it is definitely worth the money. Um, I have never, I think, purchased a Fright and Fast Lane thing. I may have done it like one time, but it might have been like even before we started Nights of Horror. But um it's a great experience it's fun um so yeah take advantage of that i think too you so in the past they made you buy the fright and fast line on top of a general admission ticket it's i don't i it's not really saying that right here anywhere um but oh yeah see it says not valid for admission so you do still have to buy a general admission ticket and then add on the fright and fast line to your ticket so it's going to run you a little bit of money I'll always read the fine print in these ticket options because right below they do have some stuff that may help you and save you some troubles when approaching the front gate so always read that fine print before you buy those tickets it's literally right below each ticket all right one of the most expensive um options they have here which is if if you're gonna ball out you want to have a VIP night, you know, you want to enjoy the night as much as possible, uh, have a private tour guide, 
the buffet dinner, a special t-shirt, general parking, priority access to all maze rides and select shows, then you're want to you're going to want to get the very important monster tour which starts you at $550. With this VIP experience, like I said, you get a single night admission to Not Scary Farm, private guide for up to six hours, which is pretty much most of the event, uh, the buffet dinner, an event t-shirt, general vehicle parking, and priority access to all mazes, select rides, and select shows. Uh, I have never bought this ticket. In my opinion, yeah. I just don't think it's worth how much it's charging. Um, if by some way or miracle or whatnot we ever do come across some money and we're and we just decide hey we want to do it for a video we may try it in the future but there's no guarantee of us trying it anytime soon um we're very happy of what we get every single season we accomplish what we want to do every single season so um like i said if, if you're just like if like if, if you're coming out from town you're coming long ways or the, you only do one notch trip a year and you really want to ball out and just have a great time the very important monster tour might be your ticket to buy. Um, and with that, uh, our final ticket options, and then we're going to talk a little bit about some add-ons you can get for your tickets, especially with the annual pass. Uh, the Scary Farm group admission for groups 15 to 99. The Scary Farm group admission essentially starts uh, it, it starts at $54.99 a ticket, but you have to have admission, uh, you have to have groups 15 to 99 uh, in that range, so it's it's meant for big groups for like if you're gonna bring like um, let's just say Fam like family or like a field trip or something you know of that nature. Um, it help you could save up to fifty five dollars off from the gate price, and it, it it gives you a single night admission to Not Scary Farm. So it's a general admission ticket just made for groups. Like if if there's like any groups out there, any social clubs, any all that stuff that want to take a trip to Not Scary Farm, this is probably your cheapest option to do it per ticket. Um, so if you guys are doing planning a group trip uh, with more for 15 or more people, uh, take advantage of this group admission uh, with very cheap prices. Now, Hayes did bring up something uh, at the start of the video, uh, which was the parking pass. That is something that is an add-on that you can get for your uh, Scary Farm pass. And you want to explain a little bit of, of how that works, babe? Essentially for like a hundred dollars, because or, or was it ninety? I think it was like ninety. Okay, so for ninety dollars, you get parking, general admission parking, for all the days that your Scary Farm Pass is essentially good for. And um, with that parking pass, you can also use it to upgrade when you get to the event. They do have the, so to speak, VIP parking. So I think it's like a twenty dollar upgrade instead of paying the full fifty, you just pay the difference. So it yeah. comes in handy quite often. <laughs> I think we did it a handful of times because there was nights we were showing up to the event and the parking lots were just packed, done, and we just said, Fuck it. We're gonna pay the extra like twenty dollars, which in my opinion for VIP parking, especially where they park you for VIP parking, is not bad at all. Um no. And it came it in handy, definitely came clutch. Yeah. So, yeah, take advantage yeah. of. Uh, it's just circling, and yeah. we couldn't find any. <laughs> it, that, that night was bad, but uh, definitely take advantage of the annual pass. Now, if you guys are going, I, I think out of all the tickets that you can get with all these options, the the not scary farm pass is the best bang for your buck. That's my opinion. I believe Hayes has the very same opinion on that. Um, on top of that, when you add the parking to it, you literally have to do just three visits and the pass, the parking, they pay for themselves. Um, yesterday in the know before you go, I talked a little bit about purchasing the uh, year round sipper cup, which is usually uh, there's like one that's like a, uh, um, a, 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 a you have to refill, pay to refill every time. And then there's one where you just pay one price and then you just get a limited refills for the rest of the year. We always just bank out and just buy the one that's for the unlimited refills all year, just because with how much we drink, at the parks with soda, uh, like water, Gatorades, whatever it may be, um, we, again, get our money's worth with that and it pays for itself. So that is great. On top of that, I also did mention, if you do get an annual pass for Not Scary Farm, 
take advantage of the Scary Farm Pass discounts, just like how you would with an annual pass to Knott's Berry Farm. The Knott's Scary Farm Pass does offer the same benefits for discounts in park for purchases. So if you want to get some hot gear, you know, some Scary Farm gear, um, merch, all that stuff, take advantage of the annual pass discount. Uh, and this is why it's just simply one of the best bangs for your bucks as far as haunt tickets. I think this is, out of all haunt tickets across the board, like at Owl Haunts, this is probably one of the best options that I've ever came in, uh, across with uh, as far as going to haunt goes. It makes haunt, going to haunt so much easier. You don't have to worry about parking. Don't have to worry about buying tickets to the event every single night. We have our drinks, so we don't have to worry about buying soda or water or anything of that throughout the night. The only thing we really got to worry about buying, and it's not even really a worry, it's if we want to or not, is uh, food inside the park. Because you know me, I like to have my funnel cake. Um, and then we, me and Hayes just like going and seeing all the different merch uh, spots. And, and we like to buy merch, some of the artwork. I think Knott's has a very good wide selection of merch to purchase. So... We're excited to see what they have to offer this year. We have not yet gotten down to the um, the tribute store yet, so maybe we can do that sometime soon. I know we are going to be in the area on Saturday, so uh, it might we might have to just pull up a little bit earlier just so we can go see a tribute store and then you know do what we have to do on Saturday. But um, nonetheless, I think it's going to be a great year this year at Not Scary Farm, and we got two more videos left of the week. And that's our hype list. So definitely check those out with tomorrow, our most hyped scare zones and shows. And then Friday, our most hyped mazes going into the weekend and into the next week, opening night of Not Scary Farm. Looking forward to that. Before we sign off, babe, any last uh, things you want to say? Well, yeah. Did, did you want to touch at all on the dream where you scream? Is that the midnight buffet no that's actually the hotel package but they also have the midnight buffet that's going to be going on every friday through sunday from september to october yeah we're gonna be checking that out for sure because they're gonna be serving breakfast in that so i'm excited for that i'm a big breakfast eater and then you want to talk real quick about the hotel package yeah i couldn't find any more details on the breakfast buffet which was kind of a bummer but we're definitely gonna have to look into that we're going to do some investigating when we get to the park. Who we got to talk to to buy tickets and all that stuff. Yeah. So, um, with the dream where you scream, I wrote down some quick notes for it. Uh, there are a few different hotel packages and that does vary the range. Well, so for dream where you scream, they're ranging from 309 all the way up to a thousand one hundred and seventy three dollars. Uh, these prices are all going to be for our, Originally, for the opening night weekend for September 20th and checking out the 21st. And it's using the standard two queens, but you'll kind of get the hang of the options because there's different options. But the first option is just going to be the regular um, two queen beds. And that's pretty much all it is. It's just two queen beds, and that's going to range you anywhere from 309 and if you want to grow up and get the gruesome getaway package, that's going to include early admission, the regular standard admission, <laughs> fright fast, pre and a pre-scare dinner, along with a hotel exclusive t-shirt. And they're doing collectible key, key cards along with your overnight parking. But that's going to get you or that's going to cost you two twenty eight. So quite a big difference in the packages there. <laughs> Those are going to be one of your two more expensive packages and then they also have a gruesome getaway with daytime admission along with your scary farm admission and that's going to be 898 again this is just going off of you know that first weekend and mostly with queen beds but i do have the options down here for more rooms and stuff like that and that will explain why you get all the way up to $1,137. But the next package is going to be one of your more um, friendly, cost-efficient ways. <laughs> if you want to book a hotel, that's going to be $478. And that's going to be the Haunted Dreams. That's also going to get you early entry, your pre-scare dinner, the hotel exclusive t-shirt, the collectible key card, and your parking. 
So pretty much everything that you get with the gruesome getaway minus the frightened fast. And then they also have the daytime with the scary farm package. Um, that one will also include a breakfast voucher and that's going to be $548. So it just really depends on what you want to pay for and what you think you're going to get the best, like, because a lot of these are pretty much all inclusive. Like you pay one price and your meals are covered, your admission is a cover is covered. Uh, you probably get a, you, they'll probably give you a sipper cup too out of all that stuff. So your drinks will be covered. Uh, you'll have some merch. So a lot of the money that you spend will just be towards extras like buying mer more merch or desserts or other foods you want to try like it, it's really like if you're coming up from out of town it's probably the best some of these are probably the best deal for you 100 percent so i have uh, more packages that go up for you know double queen beds or a king bed and then they also have adjoining rooms and an oversized single king and uh, those prices just get larger <clears throat> Again, the, the most pricey one is going to be the, the two queen beds with the adjoining rooms. And that's going to be that $1,137. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good price. But if you're going to, like I said, if you're coming from out of town, it might be your best bet, especially with everything that it, it accommodates for you. Um, with, like I said, having a food package, having a drink package, having some merch, place to stay, admission to day ops, and for Scary Farm. Um, for some people who've never been to Knott's Berry Farm during the day and want to experience Spooky Farm, especially with their, if they have bringing families, uh, you know, that might be the best bet for you. Uh, and then leave and then go do your bu uh, buffet and then go to Knott's Scary Farm. Like, it's going to be a full day. You're probably going to be tired, but at least you're staying on location. So your, your bed is not that far. Um, so that's, and that's, it also includes parking. And it concludes uh, the parking at the hotel right there too. So you got a place to park your car, um, and it's all on property. So it's all walking distance. Literally, the hotel is at the end of the street, and the uh, theme park is at the other end of the street over there for the entrance. Uh, you got the marketplace in between. Um, so it's it's literally probably a five minute walk from the hotel to the main entrance. Um, it's all right there. And you know what? I, I, I've never done a hotel package. I've never even stayed at the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel ever. Um, so I can't really attest to what, you know, if it's worth it or not. For me, for what you get, it sounds pretty worth it if you're if you're planning on spending a pretty penny to uh, have a good experience, especially if you're coming with like a family. You know, that, that, that two queen bed with the adjoining room sounds like kind of like an out of town family trip right there. Um, if Hayes and I were to ever do it, it'd probably just be like one bed and, and and a room. But we live so close that there's no need to to do it unless we absolutely want to, you know, check it out for one whatever reason one day. Um, yeah. But yeah, we, we just live so close that it, it just it's not worth it for us. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of options here, and definitely take advantage of them. Uh, obviously check online that's where you're going to get your cheapest prices if you buy tickets at the front gate it's going to be probably doubled than what you could have paid online um, so take advantage of buying stuff online if you do get your annual pass take advantage of the discounts that you can get with said annual pass um, because it will save you a lot of money it saved us a ton of money last season uh, and it's going to do so again this season because uh, every now and then we like to buy merch just in little little snippets of like we'll get this this week and then this next week and you know that way we're not buying everything all at once and we're kind of being smart about how we spend so I couldn't agree more <laughs> couldn't agree more so uh, yeah check out all these ticket options what's best for you personally I think the best bang for your buck is the annual pass if you are a local um, but what do you guys what have you guys done what do you guys suggest let us know down in the comments so other people can know because uh there could be people coming over from the first time ever to experience not scary farm and they want to do they want to get the best bang for their buck so leave your comments down below and if nothing else more we will see you tomorrow for the hype list of the scare zones and shows at not scary farm stay spooky I'm not the one